Jesus, I long, see? Lord Jesus, I long to be perfectly whole. I want thee forever to live in my soul. Break down every idol, cast out every foe. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow, yes, whiter than snow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Lord Jesus, look down from thy throne in the skies and help me to make a complete sacrifice. I give up myself and whatever I know. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow, yes, whiter than snow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Lord Jesus, for this I am humbly entreat. I will bless the Lord of thy crucified feet. By faith for my cleansing, I see thy blood flow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow, yes, whiter than snow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Lord Jesus, thou seest I patiently wait. Come now and within me a new heart create. To those who have so be thou never says no. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow, yes, whiter than snow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Faith of our fathers living still. Sing. Faith of our fathers living still. In spite of dungeon fire and sword. Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy. When we hear that glorious word. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be still to thee till day. Our fathers chained in prison dark, while still in heart and conscience free, how sweet will be their children's faith. If they like them could die for thee, faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Faith of our fathers, we will love both friends and foe in all our strife. And preach thee to us, love knows how, by kindly 
was in Russia's life, faith of our Father's holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. We can pray and then we have a, a presentation with us. Uh, our heavenly father how we want to thank you for giving us another sabbath and uh, thank you for this evening for taking us through the six days and lord bring us into thy presence that uh, we may worship you and give you glory as father we go through this presentation we pray that uh, you may be with us and uh, as we seek thy face may you endow us with thy spirit even the spirit of truth to teach us uh, in all the righteous ways Father, we are praying for the children all over the four corners of the world, those who are in the countries that are preparing for the Sabbath. Lord, may they remember to prepare in time. And those who have in the East African time, Lord, help us not um, to steal away thy hours, but help us to be at thy feet that we may learn from thee. As the bread is changed from the table of shoe bread, Lord, may you send the angels to feed us with the heavenly manna. Later, this moment of visitation not pass us by, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, welcome, brothers and sisters, and uh, it is uh, um, a joyous Sabbath day that the Lord has given unto us, that uh, we may praise him, we may worship him, and uh, we may be able to study together his word. This is uh, an 18 part uh, of the presentation, Our Higher Calling, and uh, I felt that uh, we should do this series because the Lord is calling us into something so special. And um, this evening we are looking at presentation number one, being a Sabbath. We are looking at uh, prayer and praise, prayer and praise. And so, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, welcome my wife, Remy Wilberforce. Welcome to the Sabbath of the Lord. Amen. She she has sold her voice somehow, but uh, she'll uh, get it back on Monday. And so don't uh, don't worry if you don't see her on the screen and you don't hear her voice. Uh, I'll also like to welcome everyone viewing from the four corners of the world and those uh, within East Africa. I can say Happy Sabbath to those who are in America. I can say Good afternoon to you as you prepare for the Sabbath. To those in Australia, I just say. Uh, uh, good night and uh, God be with you. If you can get a chance to view this, uh, welcome and uh, be with us. And so uh, we have prayed already. We did an introduction in the songs and uh, I want to look at a few things. Uh, uh, I believe that uh, the Lord has something special for us and uh, uh, the, ch the, the Church of God has been called in this end time to promulgate the present truth and uh, to present to the perishing world the matchless love of Jesus Christ and uh, to point at his divinity as um, the one who can be able to save us from all sin and iniquity. And so we, we shall be going through this presentation and our focus is on Jesus Christ and uh, the essentials that uh, a Christian should be should strive to have and uh, there is, there, there is no better place to start this presentation but uh, with the presentation of prayer. And uh, so uh, we will be covering in this presentation uh, in an 18 part series. We shall, we, we shall be looking at um, uh, prayer and praise, prayer of faith, uh, leadership principles. We shall be looking at um, Lord teach us how to pray. We shall be looking at true prayer. We shall be looking at medical missionary work uh, in the church and uh, city evangelism. 
we shall be looking at an extra mile also in the presentation we shall be looking at the promises of the lord and uh, the, the the essentials that a christian should consider we shall be looking at uh, the book of revelation and we shall be focusing on the song of moses and the lamb and we shall be looking at what is in our name true baptism spirit of rome living within your means and uh, sighing or sleeping we shall be looking time for the rain and then the last part but uh, the, the last presentation presentation number 18 will be to crown it all our higher calling and so i welcome us uh, as you know that after presentations the powerpoints are there for free you can just uh, hit my inbox and uh, you, you request for the presentations in powerpoint form or in pdf form and i will be able to send to you or uh, if you view this presentation and you are not on Facebook, you can uh, email me at uh, uh, samuelbafos at, yahoo, uh, at uh, yahoo.com or you can send an email to Gospel Sounders or Kindling uh, the Reformation uh, at gospelsounders.org. And uh, if you can call and you like us to come to your place and share this truth uh, or um, and, and in the whole scope, we shall be also... The thing that we are looking at is uh, actually uh, our higher calling, and it's it's like a, a training to, to people also who will like to get into the field there and do the work, how we can do it, and uh, the best way to spread the gospel. And so if you will like us to come to the, your church as Gospel Sounders Ministry, you can invite us. If you will like anyone to come to your church from Gospel Sounders, not the whole team, also you can call us or... Uh, email us and then we shall be able to send somebody uh, to your place if you need a bible worker who can be able to share the truth with you whether on phone whether on email whether on facebook whatsapp just tell us and we shall avail someone to study with the bible the bible with you note that uh, we are standing in the position of the holy spirit or jesus christ but uh, uh christ says that uh, the harvest is ripe but the reapers are few and so what we are doing is to make sure that uh, the gospel reaches everyone wherever they are and in their language in their tongue and uh, people may be helped with uh, whatever they are and so with that introduction uh, i'd like to go to the topic of today as we have prayed and uh, i can just utter a short word of prayer heavenly father i pray that you may guide us this, through this presentation and uh, we may be benefited at the end of it in jesus name i pray amen amen and so our first presentation it is uh, a presentation on uh, the most important place to start uh, when uh, touching on the matters of a higher calling is prayer and praise. And uh, you, you, you will find that this is essential in uh, a Christian life. This is something that is essential to have prayer because you cannot uh, experience the higher calling uh, if uh, you are not um, uh, uh, you are not a prayerful person. And so i consider this to be uh, an important part of uh, our higher calling and uh, i'll just like to look uh, at uh, a verse in philippian and, uh, a verse in philippian let me be there and uh, we look at it uh, with you uh, the book of philippians chapter 3 let us look at the book of philippians chapter 3 I hope you have your Bible, you have your pen, and you have uh, your notebook to be able to write these things. Let us look at Philippians chapter 3. The topic we are looking at is uh, our higher calling. It's an 18-part series, and the presentation number one is uh, prayer and praise. Uh, Philippians chapter 3, and uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is important, what you are going to read. Uh, are we there in Philippians chapter 3? I start from uh, verse 12. I'm going to start from uh, verse uh, 12. This is what uh, uh, this is what the Bible says. And uh, I wish I could get this uh, Philippians chapter 3, verses uh, 12 to 
16 to 16 and uh, Yes, Philippians chapter 3, verses uh, 12 to 16, it says, Not as though I have I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus Christ. Verse 13, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. And uh, look at uh, verse 14 where I get my uh, title for the series. I praise toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus Christ. I praise toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Verse um, 15, let us therefore as many as be perfect. Be thus minded, and if anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. So the, 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 burden, uh, the burden of uh, our higher calling, the burden of our higher calling is to continue praising unto perfection, continue praising unto Holiness. This is the, the the true mark of our higher calling, and uh, we, we have been called into service by Jesus Christ. And uh, there is no room for boasting. Paul says, "Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus." That is Philippians chapter three verse twelve. So, in the in in our higher calling. We have to understand that we are uh, a clay in the potter's hand, continuing to be modeled into the vessels of the sanctuary to be used in the service of the Lord. And so there is no boasting. There is no boasting. Look at uh, uh, the book of uh, Titus chapter 3. The book of Titus chapter 3. And remember we are talking about uh, prayer and praise. So there is nothing of man to be praised of because he, the, the, the higher calling that he attains, it is the work of Christ in him. And so he must continually continue in, he must continually be in prayer and in praise of he who has called him to this higher calling and not shift his eyes to anything else but uh, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of uh, our faith. The book of uh, Titus, Titus chapter 3 verses 5, are we there? It says, not by the works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior. So, although we are called to a higher calling, it is Christ who has washed us with his own blood, not according to the righteousness that we have done. And so we are looking at the theme of uh, prayer and uh, praise. And uh, let's look at the few things that are, are here. Let us look at a few things. What is prayer actually? Some, some Somebody may ask a question. What is prayer? What is the best way to answer this? Prayer is the opening of the heart to God as to a friend. Steps to Christ, page 93. What is prayer? Prayer is opening of the heart to God as to a friend. Prayer does not bring God down to us, but brings us up to him. And so, uh, if you had a friend in your life, how, how do you open yourself to him? It is something that is done without reservation. It is something that is done uh, uh, um with openness because this is a friend this is somebody you don't fear that he will turn you away christ has called us to a higher calling is it and uh, the least we can do is to open our hearts unto him amen and uh, uh, when you have a friend you entrust 
your friend with every information that they can have so that they may understand you better and be in a position to actually be your own burden bearers. And so Christ as our brother, Christ as our God, Christ as our, as our salvation, Christ as our everything, who has called us this higher calling. Uh, we are talking about the theme of prayer and praise. What can we do? And in prayer and praise, we are looking... Uh, at what is prayer actually? Prayer is opening the heart to God as to a friend. Uh, uh, and uh, so, sometimes we are looking at sometimes we are looking at this theme of prayer. We, when you are talking to a friend, it is not something that you get tired of doing, is it? It is not um, that um, when you are in the presence of a friend, you feel like leaving anytime. You feel like sitting there. Every now and then, and so uh, in prayer, we are not supposed to be a people who are in hurry of something. It's like we are in the it is we are in the in the presence of our friend, and there is nothing to hurry about. You you don't hurry when you are in the presence of your friends. You you don't want to leave the presence of your friends unless they are not real friends. And so, uh, and the way you communicate with your friend, the way you express yourself shows if. Uh, you are truly a friend to that person and you trust that person as a friend. And so prayer is opening our hearts unto the Lord and uh, being able to explain everything to him. And uh, steps to Christ, page 94. Prayer is the key in the hand of faith to unlock heaven's storehouse. Steps to Christ, page 94. Prayer is the key in the hand of faith to unlock the heaven's storehouse. So prayer is the key in the hand of faith. You know what is faith? Sometimes we ask what is faith and people jump into Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. But that's not the thing. Hebrews chapter 11 says that faith is a, a, a substance of things done what? Of things hoped for, of things unseen. And uh, you, you see, when we talk about uh, faith, and uh, I'm trying to explain uh, faith, prayer is a, a substance of the things hoped for, an evidence of things not seen, is it? Uh, uh, faith, faith, I mean, faith is the substance of the things hoped for, an evidence of things not seen, is it? An evidence of things not seen. And so, prayer is the key to what? In the hand of faith. faith. And actually, faith, what is faith? Faith is believing what the word of God has said it will do. That is actually the actual definition of faith. And uh, how does faith come? By hearing and by hearing the word of God. So prayer is, you know what prayer is? Prayer is the key, is the is the key in the hand of faith. It's the key to unlock that word, that promises that are contained in the word of God. Because faith comes by hearing and by hearing what? The word of God. So prayer is the key of unlocking the promises that are in the word. You get that? And, uh, uh, you know, his, uh, his biddings are his enablings. Christ object lesson on page 333. The, the, the biddings of the Lord are his enabling. So when he promises in his word, I'll do this and this. You know what you, you do? Prayer to unlock that promise. It is only prayer that will unlock that. And that is why in the book of Luke chapter 18, you find this uh, widow going to this unjust judge. And the judge says that this woman wearies me to death. I'll give her what she wants. And later, the story contrasts the bad judge and God who is the just judge and says that will God not answer speedily his children who cry day and night, is it? And then it finishes you know how it finishes? When the Son of Man comes, will he find what? Will he find faith on the on the earth? And so, you, you see this, that uh, 
faith and prayer are a hand and glove. They are intertwined. They, they are intrinsically tied. It is not something that you can separate. They are together. They go hand in hand. And so prayer is the key in the hand of faith to unlock heaven's door. Prayer is the key of unlocking these promises. What are the conditions of prayer? Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. What are the conditions of the prayer? He that cometh to God must do what? Believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently do what? Seek him. It is not just seeking, but diligently seeking. What is to diligently seek? It is to seek according to the will of God. We don't go to God with our own conditions. When we go to God with our own conditions, we fail to get those things that um, he has promised unto us. But when we seek him diligently according to his will, then we unlock the reservoir of heaven and he's able to pour out his blessings. We are looking at the prayer and praise. This is presentation number one in the 18-part series of uh, our higher calling. And so he that cometh to, to God must believe that he is and he is a reward. Our God is not a deaf God. We are told that um, his hand is not short to heal, but our iniquities have separated us with him. Steps to Christ, page 96. When we do not receive the very things we asked for, at the time we ask, we are still to believe that the Lord hears us and that he will answer our prayers. There is uh, a danger of somebody giving up on prayer because things have not been answered the way he wants them to be answered. You know, we must have a discerning spirit to know how God answers prayers, to know how heavenly intelligence work, even the angels, so that uh, we may not be able to blame God that he has not done this and this when he has done it. So we must have faith in the promises of, of, of God's word. Steps to Christ, page 96. When our prayers seem not to be answered, we are to cling to the promise, for the time of answering will surely come and we shall receive the blessing we need most. We are not to despair in, in, in prayer, but uh, in everything we must cultivate faith and promises. We must be able to hold on to the word of God, which is unfailing. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, you know what? It says, ask and it shall be given you. Ask and shall be given thee. You look also at uh, the book of Jeremiah chap chapter 33, and it's talking about... Uh, 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 seeking the Lord in prayer, and then he says that, call on me, and I'll be able to do what? To show you greater things that you have never seen. So ask, and it shall be given you. He said that, call on me. And we, ha we don't have to be wary of calling upon the Lord. You don't get wary of calling your friend for an aid. Yes. The way we deal with the earthly friends, and we cannot uh, actually compare God to our earthly friends. Earthly friends can fail us, but uh, we, are, we are told that uh, uh, there is a friend that sticks closer than our brother, even Jesus Christ. And so we don't have to be wary. We ask and it shall be given to you. Faith and prayer, education page uh, 253, education page uh, 253. And what is this faith? Faith is trusting God, believing that he loves us and knows best what is for our good. Thus, instead of our own, it leads us to choose his way. In place of our ignorance, it, ac it accepts his wisdom. And in place of our weakness, his strength. In place of our sinfulness, his righteousness. Education, page 253. So faith is trusting God, believing that he loves us and knows best what is for our own good. You know, we are told in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 26, that uh, down 28, we don't know how to pray. But uh, the Spirit helps us in our infirmities. And so sometimes we can pray and because of human frailty, human weaknesses, we pray of the things that actually they, they, they can't be able to be answered. And so the Holy Spirit with groanings uttereth our prayers before the Father and uh, telling him of the best things and passing through those channels actually get blessed. How to exercise faith. Education 253 continues saying, If we are willing to do his will, all his strength is ours. In order to strengthen faith, we must often bring it in contact with the word. So faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. 
And in order to strengthen faith, we must often bring it in contact with the word. If we are willing to do his will, all his strength is ours. There's no man who has ever done the will of God and failed in his ways. We say we are told in the in the psalmist that um, uh, uh, God orders the steps of a righteous man. Is it in Psalms or in Proverbs, one of the books? Yes, God orders the steps of the righteous man. And uh, the psalmist say that I have I, I have been young and now I'm old. I have never seen the righteous man huh? being in one or his children begging for bread. If we do His will, then. Uh, uh, he is able to answer prayers. Uh, examples of prayer, Enoch, pure in heart, holy in life, holding fast his faith in the triumph of righteousness against a corrupt and suffering, scoffing generation. And uh, you can go to Hebrews chapter 11 and see the heroes of faith. Noah and his household against the men of his time. The children of Israel at the Red Sea. And uh, David, a shepherd lad, having God's promise of the throne. These are examples of the people who practiced prayer and praise in their lives and who are able to lock the surveyor of heaven. Prayer is the key in the hand of faith. What are the promises we have to claim in prayer? What are the things that we have to proclaim? 4.13 of Philippians. What are the things that we have to proclaim in prayer? I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And Zechariah 2.8, for he hath he that touches you touches the apple of his eyes. You know that you are the, a child of God. And uh, whoever touches thee touches the eye, the, the apple of the eye of God. You can also find this in Education 256 to 257. And uh, Psalms 37, the division, verse 5 and 6. 37, 5 and 6. Commit the way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Commit everything to the Lord. We don't have to keep on struggling in everything. We have to commit everything unto the Lord in prayer. He says that uh, in everything be anxious of nothing. But in prayer and supplication let your wants and needs be known unto the Lord. Rejoice always, I say, again rejoice. That is Philippians 1. Let us look at it, Philippians. Is it chapter 4? Philippians chapter 4 from verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always again, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be known, made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yes. And so we have to commit everything unto the Lord and he shall bring it to pass in righteousness. Duties to fulfill when we are praying. Duties. Education page 257. Duties. The compassion that God manifests toward us, he bids us manifest toward others. Let the impulsive, the self-sufficient, the revengeful, behold the meek and lowly one, led as a lamb to the slaughter, and retaliating as a sheep dumb before her shearers. Let them look upon him whom our sins have pierced and our sorrows burdened, and they will learn to endure, to forbear, and to forgive. So we have to be like Christ. We have to be endure to forbear and to forgive if our prayers will be answered and you know what he says in the book of uh, is it mark chapter 11 verses 24 mark the book of mark i'm looking at prayer and praise in this presentation the first presentation on uh, our higher calling the book of mark chapter 11 verse uh, Verse 24, therefore I say unto you, Mark 11, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And when you stand praying, forgive if ye have ought against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. So prayer goes hand in hand with forgiveness. And you know the Lord's Prayer, we shall be looking at it in this higher calling. Uh, you see, 
if if you don't forgive, then your prayers are like uh, the prayers, the noise of the wicked. So we have to learn Christ. Character development through prayer. Through faith in Christ, every deficiency of character may be supplied, every defilement cleansed, every fault corrected, every excellence developed. So uh, as you develop a habit of praying, you cultivate faith. And what does faith bring about? Uh, the character formation. You learn to depend on God. In fact, the heart of the message is righteousness by faith, is it? Justification by faith. And what is justification by faith? Laying the glory of man in dust and uplifting the risen Savior. And so, as we learn to depend on him, we learn of justification by faith, righteousness by faith, where actually we depend on God fully and our character are molded, our faith is increased, and we are molded into the same multitude. You, 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 you are complete in him, Colossians 2.10. If we hold unto the anchor, unto the ladder of prayer and faith, then we are complete in Jesus Christ, Colossians 2.10. If we ever will want to be complete, if we will ever want to reach our higher calling, then to be complete in him, we must hold on in prayer. And prayer cultivates faith, and faith then develops character which feeds you for heaven, which makes you to be complete in uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we, we are admonished also to study the signs of prayer. Prayer and faith are closely allied and they need to be studied together. In the prayer of faith, there is a divine sign. It is a sign that everyone who will make his life work a success must understand. As I have said, uh, prayer and faith goes hand in hand. This is education page 257. You cannot separate them. This is the sign that has to be learned. And so as Christians, we have to cultivate prayers and praise. We have to thank the Lord in everything. Look at the book of Psalms, Division 115. The Division of Psalms 115. Division of Psalms 115. Look at this one. It is something so interesting. Prayers and praises. This is one of the Psalms that uh, the children of Israel love to sing so much. It says, Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory. For thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. So, everything, when every when something happens in the life of a Christian, it's not unto him, but it is unto God. We give praise. And so, we should learn the heart of praise in all circumstances. We, we should not go about like a people who are destitute of uh, the vital energy of God in us, the divine spirit, we have to go about rejoicing and uh, cultivate the heart of praise and prayers. Pray as much as you ask. If, if, uh, this is uh, Steps to Christ, page 102. Steps to Christ, page 102. If we would but think of God as often as we have evidence of his care for us, we should keep him ever in our thoughts and should delight to talk of him and to praise him. If, if our thoughts would be engrossed by the enormous love of Christ upon us, then we will delight to talk about him and praise him. Sometimes the Christian life is filled with sorrows. Sometimes, uh, and uh, I, 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 I like to put something on the screen also, and uh, I'll give you a page, my sister. Uh, and uh, sometimes we, we let the things, the negative things that surround us be our songs and we forget about the all-powerful God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the God of our salvation, that he is near unto us, a present, uh, uh, so ever present in time of need and even in time of joy, he is there, there present with us. And so we forget about this and go about mourning about our situation and we forget that Christ is with us. I want you to uh, look at this uh, uh, at this scenario. I, I want you, if you can access uh, Steps to Christ, page 117, and I'll be able to share with my brethren on the screen here. Uh, Steps to Christ, 
page uh, 116.3 going downwards to 117.1 okay and uh, let me put it on the screen sc 116.3 and we shall read to 117.1 okay it says it starts with many have you found it many walking along the path of life dwell upon their what and failures and what and their hearts are filled with grief and what while i was in europe a sister who had been doing this and who was in deep distress wrote to me asking for some word of encouragement the night after i had read her letter i dreamed that i was in a garden and one who seemed to be the owner of the garden was conducting me through what its paths i was doing what gathering the flowers and enjoying their fragrance when this sister who had been walking by my side was called my attention to some that were impeding her way there she was mourning and grieving she was not walking in the pathway following the guide but was walking among the briars and thorns oh she mourned it's not a pity that this beautiful garden is spoiled with thorns then the guide said what let the thorns alone for they will only wound you gather the roses the lilies and the pinks have there not been some bright spots in your experience you see that have you not had some precious seasons when your heart throbbed with joy in response to the spirit of god when you look back into the chapters of your life experience do you not find some pleasant pages are not god's promises like the fragrant flowers growing beside your path on every hand will you not let their beauty and sweetness fill your heart with your do you see that so and uh, I, I i like to say this that uh, many times you will find that uh, christians will like to recite their bad past and uh, their Im- impeding ways their impeding obstacles but uh, God is calling us to something which is more than actually reciting our uh, failures in life. He would like us to dwell upon uh, uh, the the brighter sides of our life. So if we will look we will think of God as often as we have evidence of his care for us we should keep him ever in our thoughts and should delight to talk of him and to praise uh, praise him. Psalms 1 Psalms 107 uh, paragraph 8 are uh, all that men will praise the lord psalms 107 verse 8 i mean all that men will praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men this is what we have to do let us not be always thinking of our wants and never of the benefits we receive we do not pray any too much but we are too sparing of giving thanks we are the constant recipients of god's mercies and yet how little gratitude we express how little we praise him for what he has done for us it's not just a must every time we go to our prayers we are asking god do this and go do this having god done something in our life that we can give him thanks and so we should cultivate praises in our prayers rather than just telling god i i need this i need this my family is like this and my family is like this give god things thank you for saving my family i missed all this problem thank god i thank you god because i have a family there there are people who never say that they just see the negativity of the husband they see the negativity of the wife and the children and they are ever complaining before god and we have people who are seeking to have families we are seek, we have people who are seeking to have children yet they don't have them why can't you thank god that thank you god because i have a family we always go do this go do that and go do that no that is, that's not prayer that is complaints we forget about praying and thanking god and we go to complain praise him together and there you shall eat before the lord it's a good thing to come together with family members it's good to come together with the uh, uh, the neighbors and give thanks to the lord Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 7 eat together and rejoice and tell the lord thank you for this you have done you know uh, uh, sometimes i go when we are growing up i'm an old man now you know that yes when we are growing up you, you could find the whole village the whole children 
they come into one family and eat <coughs> eat the food together and then you, you will find families seated together in doing all these things but we, we are growing into independent atoms one family there another family there another there. and that's why even the gospel cannot go through because everyone the, the society is filled with independent atoms the, it's not a family anymore but uh God says that praise him together. Let us come together and praise the Lord. We sustain a loss when we neglect the privilege of associating together to strengthen and encourage one another in the service of God. And uh, you remember Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 says that uh, let us not forsake of the assembling together as some have done. Yes, they, they miss the privileges of all these things, of edifying each other. They miss the time of thanksgiving and praises to, 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 to the Lord. And he says, when you see the day nearing. The verse says like that. And so as we see the days nearing, let us be a people who can to move together as a family. Let us cultivate joy. Step to Christ, page 116. If we do represent Christ, we shall make his service appear attractive as it really is. Christians who gather up gloom and sadness to their souls and mama and complain are giving to others a false representation of God and the Christian life. They give the impression that God is not pleased to have his children happy, and in this they bear false witness uh, against our Heavenly Father. So, uh, what should you have on your prayer list? Thanksgiving and praise should be expressed to God for temporal blessings and for whatever comforts he bestows upon us. Let not your prayer list be missing uh, thanksgiving and praise. Uh, then let us educate our hearts and lips to speak the praise of God for his matchless love. Let us educate our souls to be hopeful and to abide in the light shining from the cross of Calvary. Never should we forget that we are children of the heavenly king. On your prayer list, please never forget about uh, thanksgiving and praise. Thank the Lord. You, you remember, uh, and if you go through the prayers of Jesus Christ, he will say that, I thank you, heavenly Father. Because you have done this. He started like that, his prayers. Most of his prayers, he started like that. I thank you, Heavenly Father. Before even God could do anything, his son, that is was his prayer list. Then cease to complain as though you were born servant under hard taskmaster. Jesus is good. Praise him, praise him, we, uh, who is the health of your countenance and your God. And so we, we see here another aspect that Jesus Christ is God. Praise him, praise him, who is uh, health of your countenance and your God. Jesus is our God and he understands everything. Let the fresh glories of each new morning awaken praise in your heart for these tokens of his loving care. Praise the Lord even when you fall into darkness. Praise the Lord, him in temptation. This is Testimonies to the Church, Volume 2. Page 593, 2T593. Praise the Lord. Praise Him even in temptation. And uh, you, under, you understand the afflictions that Job went through. What did he say? Naked I came and naked shall I do what? I live. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so let us learn how to praise the Lord in every instant. Let your conversation be of him who liveth to make intercession for you before the Father. When you take the hand of a friend, let praise to God be on your lips and in your heart. Make it a rule never to utter one word of doubt or discouragement. You can do much to brighten the life of others and strengthen their efforts by words of hope and uh, holy cheer. And lastly, whoso offereth praise glorifies God. Whoso praises, whoso offereth praise glorifies God. Psalm 50, uh, verse 23. If the loving kindness of God call forth more thanksgiving and praise, we will have far more power in prayer. 53, 17. And so, uh, what can I say in closing? The melody of praise in the, is the atmosphere of heaven. And when heaven comes in touch with the earth, there is music and song. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody, Isaiah chapter 51, verse 3. This is education 161.1. And uh, so, brothers and sisters, we, we, we have been uh, called to a higher calling. God has called us unto a higher calling. 
to praise and to give him thanks. And in these higher callings, we shall be looking at a few things that makes up a Christian lifestyle. And uh, I, I, I hope that you will be blessed in this uh, presentation all through. Thank you for, uh, for being with us. And uh, we pray that um, you may cultivate the science of prayer, which is a prayer of faith and uh, thanksgiving and praises. And this is our higher calling. The series our higher calling. And so God be with you. And uh, as you prepare for Sabbath, those who have entered into the Sabbath, may God bless you and let us utter a word of prayer in closing. Heavenly Father, we thank you. You are teaching us what is our higher calling. And Father, we don't want to walk around as a people who have lost our God like the other nations. We want to walk around as we have a living Savior, our mediator and uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for this Sabbath and Lord, as we shall be going through this series, we just pray that uh, your face may shine upon us, that we may come to realize our higher calling. Let your presence be with us and let the angels minister unto us this Sabbath. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.